Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Tomb Raider Remastered um, London area. Uh, deep playthrough through all three of the games, 100%. And the introduction, uh, where we are and what we did, etc. Very briefly, it's in the previous episode, which I had to cut short because I encountered a control issue. Uh, but l l happy to report that in between episodes I was quite uh, quickly be able to find the cause. Apparently, uh, I already had like a controller issue since the second update that I couldn't use my custom uh, button assignment anymore. I'm not sure whether that was also... And, and now we have the, the next update and then uh, also the new uh, quick save and it didn't work and also um, hot swapping or quick swapping weapon combination didn't work. But then I found that you need to, in Steam, you need to have um, Steam inputs for the Xbox 360 con or Xbox One controller, whatever it is that I'm using. You have to set it to default or to enabled, I don't know. Uh, if not, for me it was disabled, then the control uh, assignments do not work, but if you do, they do work. And now I'm actually doubting, like I was super annoyed starting the third game, which was around the time of the, uh, the second update, that I couldn't use my uh, custom control scheme anymore. Uh, because I accidentally pressed revert to default and then I tried to uh, assign my, uh, my previous buttons, which is mostly the important one for me is sw swapping the action button and the uh, jump button from um, jump is now A and action is X instead of the other way around because then jump is also closer to uh, roll which makes the mid-air uh, swap like so much easier to do w um, compared to when jump is on X where the roll button is further away from the jump button because you really need to press them not simultaneously but very briefly uh, after each other and with my input now they are basically next to each other so it's much easier uh, but now I uh, that's I couldn't swap it back to that uh, custom uh, set after the second update when I started Tomb Raider 3, well, I played the whole first two games with that custom uh, control set. So it really was annoying when you have like muscle memory with jump is A and then suddenly jump is not A. So it really was quite annoying to get used to it again. But it could maybe be, I don't know whether I checked Steam input as a possible uh, cause for uh, that issue, uh, not being able to get the, um, custom control set working after the second update. So it could be, if I didn't do that, although I do think I did, but uh, it could be that it was not an issue after all with the game or the updates, but it was just an issue with my um, Steam input not being enabled in the game uh, Steam settings. So maybe I had a lot of frustration wor uh, playing with the default control sets after the second update, that was needless because maybe that was also that same issue with the um, Steam inputs needing to be enabled. Anyways, very long uh, rambling, it's just also to get it out of my system. We are now totally okay because the uh, weapon hotkeys or quick swap, etc., works totally fine. And I need it indeed for the uh, harpoon because we will be going below water now in what is supposed to be one of the hardest sections of the game and of the series. Uh, we will have to see, but very happy. And also jump is now A again and action is X. So we are all good to go. Here we go. I now have to get used to that I am able to um, have my custom control set again. So 
jump is A. All right, let's first get to some oxygen. Oh, I see a crocodile. And I also see some lights, which is probably the way to oxygen, I guess. Ah, no, not really. All right, I see a medipack over there. Fuck me. Alright, so apparently we can shoot while on this uh, machine. And roll is getting off, so I was not aware of that. But the shoot mechanic is actually quite handy because I was afraid for these underwater battles with the annoying divers that you actually have to get off your machine, get your harpoon out. Just all kinds of annoyance. But that apparently is not needed. It would be nice if this crocodile follows us through here, to here, so that we can shoot it with regular guns instead of wasting our boons. Can I get off? Oh. Yes, the controls are a little bit um, oh. stuttery, I would say. Right, I was expecting it. The Crocodile is not following. Let's see if he follows us. Ah, no. There is like a current. see another one of those machines just making sure there are no items hidden in the blind spots All right, we cannot get out from here let's see what this one does We opened up some kind of a hatch. <laughs> ah, fuck me. This is also a glass pane. Ah, here's the hatch. <laughs> Much closer than I expected. Oh, I have to get used to my old button set again. All right, is that a good guy or a bad guy? I guess a bad guy. Um, let's see how our ammo supply is. We have quite a lot of harpoons and Magnum 9. Will I use the Magnum? Yeah, it's such a cool gun. Let's use it. It's already quite a confusing level because that whole starting section we need to still get back there and explore it. Right. 
Ah, now the diver went into the water, I think. So let's stay silent. I'm pretty sure that diver, let's check that again. He jumps, yeah, he seems to jump somewhere. And I guess that is in the water, which is not what you want because those divers are super annoying. Oh, fuck me, wrong button. Um, but we didn't take much damage, I guess. Hey, is there also a ledge there? Nope. Yeah, it's all right. So the stuff is quite close by. We have another gate to the right here, which we Need to remember, god damn it, there's way too much to remember here. I think getting 100% in this level will be pretty damn tricky. Yeah, where is the diver? He's up there. We are in that same room. There he is. Shall we shoot him from here? Or shall we get a better angle? Let's get a be better angle. There's actually a bit of uh, controller rumble now. Never felt that before. All right, here we go. Little bit closer by for some extra damage. Why is Lara not targeting that guy? Uh, it's probably a scripted sequence. Which is quite annoying. I'm not even gonna waste a the bullet then. You cannot even get that diver, I think. I'm not sure you can get through here without uh, an alarm going off. I don't think so. I think in this last update they also improved the sound uh, effects a bit. I'm not sure, but I think I read, heard something about that. <coughs> and the regular guns, they indeed, maybe it's a placebo effect. It, to me, they sound a little bit better. surprise me if I already took a wrong turn somewhere like a branching path that you first have to take another turn that looks climbable that ceiling over there um, to be able to get all the items maybe that happens sometimes
that you first have to take one way to get all the items and only then the other way instead of the other way around sometimes it can lock you out if you take the wrong branching path like i think in india that was an issue you really had to take one path first to be able to get all the items god damn it this is confusing guys pretty damn annoying to be quite honest also because often you are um, missing with the harpoons and then you just waste a lot of ammo and at one point in the Andrea Doria or the um, diving area or one of those levels I actually did not have enough harpoons anymore to kill all the enemies which is for me also part of fuck me I thought that was damage this is super annoying how can i know where to go how is that guy the dead all right let's start off annoying let's uh, use the new hotkey this one pretty nice the left button uh, but what was i saying that you waste ammunition uh, and on those branching paths yeah and in the Andrea Doria li like the enemies that um, uh, for me 100% also uh, means killing all the enemies and at one point I didn't have enough harpoons anymore you could only take out a couple of fish in a tank with uh, harpoons so that was super annoying having to reload a much earlier save to be able to save harpoons to get all the kills so that is why i don't really like that underwater um, fighting because it is really easy to uh, miss and to just waste ammunition and then running the risk of not having enough harpoons to take out all the enemies i have to go for a very quick sanitary stop we'll be back in a sec Right, back at it. This is, by the way, a pretty nice quality of life. Because normally when you die, now you can already get to the load menu yourself by just pressing the left. Oh shit, I've... I didn't save, we still have to take out the guys, etc. 
Anywho, what I wanted to say is that normally when you die, the game defaults to the save menu. Let's check that now. Alright, shoot me, motherfucker. Why is he not shooting? Anywho, what I meant to say is that it, it, the game, after you die, the game defaults to the... Ah, no, that's, that's not it. Um, so then it defaults to the load menu, so that's fine. But the annoying uh, setup was when you want to save, we can check that out now. A quick save. We now also have a quick save hotkey, by the way. So that really helps. So that's really solved that issue. But when you want to save normally, you go into the menu, you go here, and for some weird reason, it defaults to the load menu. While saving, at least for me, I use that 10 times or 50 times more than manually reloading a, a, a game, because that often you just die and then the game reloads by itself or it gets to this menu by itself. It doesn't happen that often that you manually have to reload compared to manually saving. So what really happened a lot was that you were like, uh, okay, finally difficult section done and you were a bit distracted and then, okay, let's do a quick save. And then it defaults to the load menu and then you accidentally load the game instead of saving your game. So then you lose all that uh, progress that you just made, which is super annoying, but that is fixed now with the uh, quick save hotkey, which I think is pressing in the um, right thumbstick. So we don't even need to die now anymore. I thought the issue was with dying and then the default menu, but that's not it. It was the manual saving, which was annoying. All right, so now let's make some progress. Too much rambling. <laughs> Not sure why, but I'm in a rambling mood. Let's just first clear out this area better than we did before. Previously we went in there. Alright, these, these are quite a lot of harpoons actually. Three sets. <laughs> right, this probably is a hatch that will open up. Surprise me. I 
I still think this is going to be. Oh, let, let's now use our quick save button, um, which is a really nice quality of life improvement, to be honest. But. sure this will be a tough level to get to 100%. There are a lot of nooks and crannies in this level. And also harpoons are the items that I, especially in the Andrea Doria levels, etc., that I overlook the most. They can really blend into the environment uh, a little bit, a little bit too well. Quite an annoying sound effect, but it is what it is. Oh, now I'm yeah, I'm just accustomed to saving like this. <laughs> Which we should not be doing. is crazy as far as nooks and crannies go <laughs> yeah fuck me <laughs> fuck me <laughs> that was a cool jump scare i was totally expecting it but still it uh, got me <laughs> little sound he made That is where we came from, I'm not sure. Let's quickly check that out. Nope, I need to get used to the new button, save button, like so. Yeah, that's the area that we... <laughs> went in before when encountering the, I think, what was it? A crocodile and a dead diver or something. Ah! I know, I wanted to say finally the alarm stops if you point the camera there. But nope, it just continues annoying as it is. Nope, let's use the quick load button. Man, this is really nice quality of life improvements. Quick save and quick loads. If we 
dive into the water over there. I'm not sure we can get out. Because the... Watery, uh, the edges seem quite high. There was a, another... Um, crystal there. That's also what they do pretty well. They hide the crystal. Ah, why can't we get it? Alright, what's up with that? Sometimes they hide the crystal where you can find it easily. Like, ah, we already got a crystal over here. And then you really don't look as thorough anymore for any additional ones, like the ones that we found in that little <laughs> cranny, nook and cranny. But this is really, I hope this is not a game glitch. I'm actually going to quickly look that up because we do want all the items. I know there is already one glitched item in this level, which we have to get on the underwater scooter that we somehow glitch it so it can run in the air, it can fly. So we do, no, we do lot gate can't, Get crystal in the water under the crates in that big room you enter after that very long fall. Yes. Normally I uh, don't look up stuff. I really want to do it myself, but this is such a big level, and I know things can get glitched, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time to continue and then only after noticing after three hours that it, I had to do something there and that means that I have to redo the whole level. So I'm going to look this up. Uh, can't get Lara to get the crystal and Lutz gate in the water under the crates in that big room you enter after the very long fall through the shaft. She just passes through it but it stays visible. Is this a bug? I know if you do the jump through the barbed wire at the start. The crystal bugs out because you didn't enter the room through the right loading zone. So it's not properly initialized yet. Is the crystal spinning and bouncing? I didn't do anything strange that I know of. The crystal is frozen, however, just kind of static. Oh, that's not the one I was thinking of, but it is in the same room. So right above you is a trapdoor. There is a lever that opens it in a side room underwater, and that's how you're supposed to get. All right, so this is again, so that sometimes really obscure game design. That as a player you cannot know that some crystals only activate after you press a trap door like this one apparently. So we have to activate something first. Now my question is, can we get to the ceiling over there? I really hope so. I actually don't think so, I think it's too high. Let's try it anyways. Because there is an opening. Uh, up there. Man, I'm so going to have to replay this level, I'm sure. 
because of missing items. So there apparently is a side room with a lever. So you could call this maybe a little bit... ...of cheating. can also be hidden quite well into the environment. a snowy section all at the start as well. Let's quickly check that out. Before I continue and then I only notice it after spending four hours getting to the end. then have to replay everything. Alright, that is the room that we are in now. This is way earlier. Here we go. Down? Yes. This is what I mean. There was some snowy textures here as well. So maybe I overlooked the harpoon there as well, although I don't think so. This is really more the indoor ground level section compared to the underwater part. Let's double check. Alright, I really must make a mental note. Sometimes, especially with white textures, look, uh, load up 
the classical graphics to see for hard to spot or nearly invisible harpoons. Right, did I pick it up now? I think I did, right? Yes. Um, yeah, so this is a little bit annoying because now I again... those crates there as well a bit better for harpoons. Let's do that later. Let's try to find that switch. Can we get out of the water here? I doubt it. Should we go in here? we can get out. Ah yes, if it connects to the little side passage over there we can actually.
There it is. Alright, let's double check behind those other crates for our boots. <laughs> Man, that's an annoying alarm. I think this is where we came from. Ah, this could lead to a side room. Ah oh, no, this is just a closed door. Also, by the way, harpoons. Uh, in these rocky areas underwater, I think they are better visible. Yeah, there are side rooms over here, so we can probably pull a lever there to get that crystal. I will be doing that after a very quick sanitary stop. I will be back in a sec. Here we are, back at it, let's pull some levers. Ah, a whole secret area actually. With only one item. At least nice, how many, it's a big level I think. Holy shit, we already found five out of six. Secret wise, we're going pretty good, I would say. Um, there was another area up there. some oxygen and then continue further down ah there is no further down i thought that was a corridor so ah here we go nice you see it's so easy to overlook it really was luck that i found this
Otherwise, I would have started searching elsewhere. For that lever. Oh. Alright, I think that corridor was just a dead end over there. Now let's get the crystal. I hope we not again have to get through that crawling section. crystals we have. Wrong button. Six. Let's quickly see how many there are in the level. I think it looks secret wise that we are super far. I think this level really have some, has still some tricks up its sleeve. At least many people say that it's like super hard. Um, And maybe I already took a wrong path. Could really be that I have to replay it. Because I left, for example, that scooter behind. And I'm not sure whether I can get back to it easily. And we do need it. God damn it. Why is my page not loading? Why is nothing working when you would like it to? Uh, one moment, let's see if it says anything. Nope, I have like another walked through guide. But that one doesn't give the total amount of kills, etc. and crystals. The one that does is not loading. Stella's forum. Annoying. Um, anywho. We still have a room up there. And what shall we do? Are there any? Are there multiple paths in, in any ways? I don't think so, actually. I think the only way. How did we get here? I don't even remember. Wait, that was it. We got here through here and then that door closed behind us. Yeah, so I really hope we can get back there because I still need to figure out a lot over there. Oh, fuck me. If the game doesn't allow me to get back there, that would be so annoying. Um, six crystals. Super annoying. <laughs> I 
And again. How can I miss it? God damn it. Almost missed it again. Luckily my eye fell on it. These fucking harpoons everywhere. Right, there is one safe that I really must not override. That is before we enter this whole area. I think it is 820. No, it was 823. That one I must not override in case we have to start this whole section again. So that I don't, uh, if we miss something here, we are now locked out of the beginning part of the underwater section that I don't need to redo the whole level. At least we have a save just before we jumped into the water section. Don't override 823. And because I selected it previously to see which one it was, oh my god, I actually overrode it. Fuck me. So where is 821? That is then my first save before the water section now, and it's probably much further back. No, it's not that far further back. All right, 821, do not override it. Fuck my life. Still getting used to the... Fuck my life to the uh, hotkeys. No, oh, f fuck my life. That's not what we want. We want to get this one back up instead of randomly in the middle. So that was after 821. This one loads. And now this one. Save. are also quite a bit more annoying than they used to be. Alright, this is just a super annoying section. So let's first see where we can get oxygen. Going clockwise. 
these gators, they do a lot more damage than they used to do in the other games. Which does make sense, I would say, because they really did too little damage in the first two games, I found. I don't see any... there and I'm also normally I want to lure these guys these crooks etc to the surface so I don't need to use harpoons but fuck this one Seriously. Hmm. Alright, finally. Fuck this area. Oh. <coughs> Annoying area. Um, like so. Took way too much health and harpoons, but it is what it is. Is that where we came from? I have no clue. Nope, we have a closed hedge. And also, again, let's double check for any harpoons that may be hard to spot all right so let's this is the i'm pretty sure oh fuck me no where is the oxygen area i think it's over here Did we make it <sighs> no, that was too much damage for nothing Man, this is annoying. Alright, let's just start exploring from this red one. And then we go clockwise. Alright, we have a look gate here. Oxygen tunnel was opposite the red one, I'm pretty sure. Man, this is indeed quite the annoying level. 
Maybe I should, there's also a scooter here. Let's take the scooter to be a bit quicker. <laughs> I'm just keeping the <coughs> classical graphics. Ah, there are two red areas. All right, so don't forget the... Oxygen is besides the death, death diver. At least we do not get need to get off the um, machine to replenish oxygen. Alright, that's where the machine was. I sometimes actually do prefer just swimming around. Because it's easier to control, I find. <sighs> Alright, uh, no, we're going anti-clockwise now. Let's stay consistent. Another closed door. Fuck me now. Come on! Oh, fuck. Probably will not make it. <sighs> Holy shit, that was a close call. Really quite annoying. Here. It sticks, it clips when you're, oh yeah, it just gets stuck when you're near a wall, which is super annoying. All right, did we check out that one? I think we did. Oh, fuck my life. Try to do a roll like you do when not in a vehicle, but if you press roll when in a vehicle, it actually does something difference so we have uh, already i think three areas or passages with a door a lock gate Was this the one that we already checked out? Again, one with a lock gate. And I think the one now to the right. That one will be the last one that we need to check out on the upper level. We still have the down level. <laughs> so that would be this one. Where there 
basically is nothing. Right, I'm not sure I am really enjoying this that much. Here, why? She's getting stuck way too often. Which is just super annoying if you're on a timer, I find. All right, where do we start with this one? We're gonna start from the one below where we came from. That would be this one. And then we will make our way. me. I still had to. Oh my god, it's so fucking annoying. Now I want to get off and now it doesn't do anything. Anyways, we will be going uh, the lower level from this one. And then we will be going clockwise this time around. Oh, 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 so annoying. I was too close so I couldn't pick it up. It's the same button to pick something up and to use this machine. Oh my god, this is so annoying getting stuck. Pick something up over there. And we have a lever over here. I'm not gonna risk it. oxygen but now I do need to remember where the hell was that one was that I think it was this one So now, oh my god, you need to be on the side of it, not behind it. Alright, are we now first going to try and see what opened it up? Let's do that. I think it was one of the... Oh, fuck this fucking game, man pretty sure it was one of the oh 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 this is so annoying it was one of the hatches from the upper passages but which one don't ask me Alright, that's my biggest gripe with this thing. It gets stuck when you're near walls, which is extremely annoying. This is also annoying.
if you think you are onto something and you are not, all right, I don't think I, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it, it's too annoying. Let's get more oxygen. Man, it would be nice if she could get a breather or something. I do like this machine in itself, actually. It's a pretty cool gadget. Boom! Oh, fuck this fucking game, man. Fuck it so hard. Fuck it so fucking hard. And now I am not even where which one we were exploring. Fuck me. I'm basically ruining half of my oxygen on nothing so now we have to get back here without having explored anything all right which fucking thing were we were we i think we were going counterclockwise i'm not sure yeah i think it may have been this one where the edges There it is. All right. We know where it is, but I'm not gonna risk it. I've been. Hesitating for. Too long. We need oxygen. Oh my god, it's so annoying. And probably you cannot get both in one go, the medic pack and the lever, but we're gonna try. Alright, now I'm already... Ah, fuck my life, I'm going in the wrong one, right? Yes, I am. Fuck, it's so hard. Fuck this game. Fuck this level. This is annoying. This... Oh, fuck me, I don't even... Ah, let's do it anyways. I didn't even want to press... Oh, fuck it so hard, man. Oh, fuck it so hard. I didn't even want to press the uh, load button. Quick load. Somehow I did. But there's just too many branches and the fact that you are oxygen time limited, it's all not that bad, but the fact that Pressing the fucking button. Oh, fuck it so hard. Fuck it so fucking hard. Um, the fact that you're oxygen limited, etc. Oh, 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 I want. Oh. Alright, I need to take a break. I'm gonna take a break. The fact that you're oxygen limited and that we're underwater is not the worst in itself. The fact that you're constantly stuck against flat surfaces it makes this uh, section infuriating i find anyways i need to take a break so i will uh, continue in like two minutes or something
All right, back at it. Sorry for that. I don't even remember where we were. Yes, let me just start over. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so annoying. I still don't have the muscle. Uh, I'm still in my old. Oh, my God. Um, the muscle reflexes for loading and saving. Normally you open the menu and it defaults to the load menu. So now I saved all for the last one. So where is this one? Yeah, fuck me. I'm not gonna risk that. I don't remember whether we picked something up uh, here earlier so what i am going to do is i'm just going to take some damage loads the last one and it will probably be a lot of damage yeah this is actually not possible oh fuck my life fuck my life man fuck my fucking life man Now do I, ah, we can actually check it. So we do this one, we check how many items we have. Five, six, 36, 10. Five, six, 35, 10. Then, yeah, so somewhere we picked something up. Is that the Medipack? No, right, that's not the Medipack near that lever. I think it was something else. Um, can, oh, oh, I fucking hate this fucking section, man. So hard. So fucking hard. Oh. <laughs> this is peak frustration for me. Can we see where the fucking hell? Is that medipack still there? Yes, so it is not this medipack. So we picked something up. And where did we pick something up? Don't ask me, but yeah, because I accidentally saved. Instead of fucking reload. Ah, there it is. Nice. At least the item is... Uh, we don't have to go through all these passages again down below to Oh my god, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating this. I wonder whether this machine actually... Yeah, probably it's a bit faster than... Swimming, right? Yeah, I think it is. So let's keep the machine, but otherwise I will be happy to dish it. It just gets stuck way too easily. Oh, but now we still have to open up that lever. Oh, fuck it so hard. And here, fuck this shit so hard, man. Fuck it so hard. Fuck this fucking section. All right, I think that lever was somewhere above. So now at least make sure we have the same amount of items as the last safe, which was 843. So we have 5, 6, 36, 10. Five, six, 
36, 10. All right, so now we only need to pull that lever. Fuck this game. Now, not this game. I mean, I really enjoyed the Tomb Raider games. I think it was this one. No, uh, maybe it is. No, oh fuck, it's so hard, man. Fuck, it's so fucking hard. It is just this area. Fuck this area. And again, I, I actually like the concept being limited here. I have no clue which one it is. So much wasted time. It is just the machine getting stuck for no reason, which is absolutely infuriating if you are, uh, if you have here again, everywhere it gets stuck. There is no flow to this machine whatsoever. It, and, and you are on a very tight timer. So what the fuck? Ah, so this is that hatch that opened up, but that wasn't the one of the lower ones, right? Or am I now in a lower one? Pretty sure this is the hatch with the medipack and the other lever. I thought that was a lower one. Oh my God. Or did we first do the higher ones and then the lower ones? Yeah, maybe that was it. Just making sure there are no hidden corridors behind. Oh. Alright, so now we have, I think, seven crystals. Yes. You tell me where the hell was that lever? I think this may be where we came from. Yes, that's where we came from. It's all so annoying. Where I'm now. Oh no, 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 I did it again. I saved instead of loading. Oh my god, this really is getting out of hand, I would say. This is absolutely getting out of hand frustration wise. I knew this would be a frustrating level, but the amount of frustration that I'm currently experiencing, it's, it's not peak frustration yet, but it is quickly building up. Here, this shit, man. This fucking shit. Fuck this fucking shit. Fuck this fucking shit. Alright, let's double check. I, do, I really don't want to miss any items here. I don't want to have to do this again. And I'm really wondering whether the section all at the start where there was a, um, a gate closing up behind us there were still items that we had to check there i really want to be able to get back there actually 
Um, actually, what I am going to do, give me a minute, I am going to check up on that because if it appears that that was a point of no return, then I don't want to spend more time here getting to the end and only then figuring out that we uh, cannot pick up the items all at the start anymore. So I'm, uh, but now that site is not loading. Ah, now it is. All right, let me, give me a second. Fuck me. All right, we have six secrets, 57 pickups, 59 if you include the two glitched ones, including, all right, kills, 70 or 20 if you include the good guys. So we are at 10 kills. Power up crystals, 11. And we're at seven. So I think we are 60, 70% along the way. All right, give me one second. It's a long room. Now you have a choice of pickups. There's a, all right, that was the Sphinx room. We already did that. Back in the lair, vertical shaft. Note the basic UPV controls are the same as for other vehicles. All right, once you're holding onto the vehicle, press action to fire harpoons. The on-screen display shows the number of harpoons remaining. You'll encounter several crocodiles and scuba divers in the areas ahead. I found it easier to let go of the UPV and kill them with the handheld harpoon. If you don't already have this weapon, you will have to make do with the one on the UPV or avoid crooks. It is possible to complete the next section without the UPV if you prefer, but if you leave it behind in the room where you find it, you can't change your mind and go back for it. The strong current prevents you from re-entering that room. However, you will get another UPV later on. Flooded cavern. As you enter the cavern, a crocodile swims towards you. Yeah, that's that first area. Kill it and quickly head for the first opening on the right wall, I had a small rectangular hole with a wooden crate set into the wall above it. If you brought the UPV lift outside the opening and swing through, inside there's an air hole in the ceiling where you can breathe. Do not go into the white brick lined tunnel in the far left corner until you're finished here. The current will sweep Lara into the next room and you won't be able to get back. Yeah, so this is exactly what I was afraid of. Fuck me, man. We have to start all over. When you have everything, swim or drive the UPV through the white brick lined tunnel in the far left corner of the cavern, leave the UPV behind and climb out on a white ledge with two bundles of harpoons. Save your game here and do not override the save until you have obtained secret six. There is a potential bug in this area in which saving and reloading may result in invisible walls blocking the passageway into the large room and or the smaller rooms with the sixth secret. See the accompanying. Um, screenshot. Area with guard and frogman after you picked up the harpoons. Ostensibly the object is to kill the frogman before you can get away and close the door to the underwater room containing the six secrets. The catch is that you can't shoot him on land. The frogman on top of the crates is just set dressing. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's another sh Good thing I checked this out now. Yeah, sorry, but th these are the secrets that you cannot know about. Apparently, the, in the room with the frogman at the start, like uh, an hour ago, and that sergeant with dro drops a key, there is a secret which is locked off if you sound the alarm. How can you know that? Fuck this fucking level, man. The next bit is rather complicated, but will enable you to get one of the more difficult secrets in the game. Ostensibly, the object is to kill the frogman before he can get away and close the door to the underwater room containing the sixth secrets. 
The catch is that you can't shoot him on land. The frogman on top of the crate is just set dressing. He can't react to Lara and she simply won't target him. You do want to avoid attracting the attention of the guard though. This is actually what sounds the alarm and closes of the secret. You may want to skim the main and alternate strategies below and watch this video. Fuck me. Now head to the back right corner, jump up the small slope and pull up into the doorway, follow the dark passageway to the left, another guard, as soon as he sees Lara, alarm starts blaring, but don't worry, you can still get the secret, kill the guard and just run past him, then jump from the left side of the opening across a water filled channel onto the metal ledge below, the frogman will have jumped down into the water and begun shooting harpoons, kill him. Kill the first guard who will be firing at you, then jump into the water where you killed the frogman to claim secret 6. Alright. Um, extremely annoying. So we have to, so I have to start over. extremely annoying because there is the, you cannot know that there are branching pathways and you before you go into one direction you first have to clear another area uh, because that area otherwise will be locked off and I took the wrong path by, uh, by the way and then there is also in this level a um, secret area that is locked off once an alarm is sound sounded you cannot know that that is just too obscure. So I don't even mind looking it up, to be honest, or that I saw it by coincidence on that secret, but it will have saved me a lot of time because otherwise I would have ended the level after four hours, um, only then to uh, notice that you don't have everything. Yeah, and then good luck, try, good luck trying to find it if it is such an obscure mechanic. Like that room with the frogman and the sergeant that drops the key that where the alarm sounds. A lot of alarms sounded in this game and in the previous, previous game. It never really locked off a secret area. So that are like such distant possibilities that it's not weird not to consider that. It's actually super annoying. So this was... The 823 was the last one. Let's see what 824. This is after. Yeah, we are already now in an area that we should not be in. What do we have? 4, 4, 23, 6. Four four twenty one six. So two items somewhere that we still have to pick up. I assume this is the other side of the <sighs> Sphinx area. I'm just going to double check. All right, so this was basically everything I did up until this episode, which is two hours or so, uh, I think even longer. 
all for nothing. Yes, this is uh, how we got here. So we need to, there are two items. that we do not have in this safe and I'm not sure where they are probably after that area we should not be entering into alright there really is for the rest I don't think anything here Yeah, so basically this is where we start this started this whole episode everything i did up until now for nothing it's so annoying it's so incredibly annoying but it is what it is what can you do Apparently this section we can also do without that passage it's so fucking annoying it's so fucking annoying oh. but yeah no use in getting worked up about mm. it So what I did is I followed the uh, the lights over there, which yeah, th I thought like okay, that gives you probably that's uh, towards uh, oxygen, or that's like a, like a little game tip. Uh, wow, can you see? How fucking well they're hidden. There are more harpoons over there. Harpoons are so easily missed. Also so annoying. But anywho, um, what was oh. I saying? Yeah, so I was following the lights when we got here. Trying to, uh, thinking, yeah, that is probably just the game telling me that that is where you need to go. But no. If you go there, you will get to a corridor where you cannot get back from because the door closes and you are basically screwed. It's such incredibly annoying game design. Here, this one. Yeah, now suddenly this is better visible with the modern graphics 
than the old ones, while usually it is the other way around. That you really cannot see harpoons very well in the modern ones. You can see them better in the old graphics. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Hitting walls, etc. just would really like to get this level over with. so much stuff here and I knew that there was like um, a medipack here was a many pack that we still had to pick up but I was like okay probably how can you know you cannot return here anymore you cannot know that that's the annoying part of all oh, the equation and also the annoying part is that these fucking alligators have like this crazy hitbox That went a little bit better. Oh, but this is, I don't think that's the one we need to enter, right? Just quickly save. I think we need to enter one which has like a wooden crate above it. Somehow, my feeling says we have to go here. Ah, yeah, we do need to go here. I thought that one had like a little wooden crate texture above it. Where is that one then? Another one. Oh, wow, that's so weird. I was pretty certain. Even the walkthrough said, yeah, there's a texture with a wooden crate above it. And now it is just stone above this opening that is extremely weird let's check that out now let's first maybe save the game uh, it's not really needed but no not needed let's load a game like this one and now let's check out the texture above this opening wow that's so weird what am i missing here i i pretty certain When we got in here, that there was um, another texture above that. This passage. Walkthrough even said, go to the right, there is an air bubble. Normally, again, I don't like to use walkthroughs, but in this level, I have less of a problem with it. So now we go through it. And now it 
gets loaded in. And then we are going to the right. Still not. Wow. They do way too much damage as well. Ah, maybe it said don't go. No. Into the room with the um, wooden texture above it, the crate texture above it, because that is the point of no return. I. Oh my God. Could it be that the game just has a little glitch in its cage and it forgets to load the correct texture? Ah, wait! That's it! Fuck this fucking game! It's only in the uh, classical graphics that it has a wood texture, not in the modern ones. <laughs> Alright, again, waste of my time trying to figure that out. Alright, at least we're getting a lot of goodies here. That's the only positive, but how could I have known not to go here. I went, um, I think, in that one, and that is where you, if you go in there, which is at the end of the lights, which really, yeah, the game hints at you go here. And I really, when I was in here for the first time, I was like, okay, I need oxygen. <laughs> So I am just, normally I go in the direction where the game actually does not point you to. Just to get all the side areas instead of immediately following the main path. But in this case I was like, okay, I will just follow the, uh, the light bulbs because I just, that probably gets us to oxygen and then suddenly it gets you to a point of no return. And if you're going for a 100% run, you are just screwed, which is just super annoying. Unfortunately, it does mean we have to do a lot of stuff again because we missed this the first time around. Do I feel confident enough that I have everything in this room? I am pretty confident. Yeah, pretty damn confident actually. 
I'm just gonna risk it. I'm not gonna waste too much time double checking everything. But it could very well be that there's like above you, just out of sight, some opening with more goods. <laughs> Yeah, let's just leave it be and continue on our merry way. Sometimes also if you approach a certain passage from one direction compared to the other, you can really spot something that you couldn't really spot while going in the previous direction. Alright, so that's a point of no return for sure. Because we got swept by the current. Alright, now the only thing. Ah, so these were the two items that we were that I was missing when comparing saves between uh, before this point of no return and after this point of no return so that's good at least we are now picking up those two items we had like 21 versus 23 or something when i was comparing earlier saves before this point and after and now we should be good Now the only thing is... Just hoping that we picked up everything. Ah, there's also a door... Ah, no, this is the door that closes behind us. Which initially I thought was just an opening in the sides. No, it is actually a door that locks you from going back. And actually, even if that door wasn't there, it doesn't really matter because we already hit some currents. We hit some current um, section, which also stops us from going back to where we were anyways. Don't forget, near that UPV, there are UPV, I think it's called. Let's see what that stands for. Um, to say there are three harpoon harpoons over there all right the UPV underwater propulsion vehicle good to know Right, there are three bundles plus, ah, that is, I think, the, the secret area. Uh, so the game does give you a hint that there are like two doors. But still, yeah, the game does give you a hint that there's something here. But when you are the first time 
here. It is just pretty... Uh, yeah, you're not really paying attention to that room. Say. I mean, how can you know that that diver up there is guarding that secret room? You cannot know that. So, yeah. So this is another point of no return. I thought that this was indeed a side door, but this door here will now close. Here, and that is where I got screwed. You cannot get back anymore. And now we need to be... We have to redo this whole area, which is super annoying. And we have to... Apparently, get to the other sides without notifying the guys over there. Because once the alarm rings, we are screwed. <laughs> oh my god. Wrong button. That was on me. Oh, wrong button. Alright, I'm just going to... Because this episode is already very long. For this episode the aim is to get that secret. And then we will continue in the next one. Wrong button, and then. Because also, again, unfortunately, real life is getting in between. I need to do grocery shopping before <coughs> the, way, uh, the shops close. So there was actually more to this area than meets the eye because you need this approach to get to the secret area. Because otherwise they will sound the alarm. Hey. Ah, now they sound the alarm anyways, I don't understand. But now you are probably... Um, yeah, you don't now have that... Diver is jumping in the water to close some kind of a door. So hopefully now we can get to an area that we couldn't get to before. But don't ask me where it is. At least now uh, I wanted to say we also took out the diver, but I think we did. 
did so before as well. Yes, so this is the door that is otherwise closed off. All right, so objective complete, I would say, for that mini objective, getting to this item. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff here. didn't save and I forgot about my oxygen screw that so even really pretty simple hey. things like this can take way too much time
pick up that mini pack the first time around. I don't even remember. Right, we have to check behind that crate over there. Let's not forget that. Pretty damn often. Absolutely annoying. That's the thing with having to replay a level. It's not like you can just race through. <sighs> because... Even when you've already been there... like you remember where everything is so you basically have maybe some items but you basically have to redo all this again with the same amount of attention spent to get everything
So that was the way out. Good thing to know. But that means that I probably again have to get through that narrow passage because actually shooting me now. Pretty sure. Wow. Right, that at least saved some Health 
as well. Right, a lot of harpoons. <laughs> and I think I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this concludes. This clears up this room. Many items all over the place. Ah, no, good thing. Oh man, almost. I think I forgot to pick up this one. Ah, no, I did. Also some harpoons over there earlier. Alright, so I think we are pretty much good to go to get to the next section. That annoying path um, with the scooter and like like the ten branched passageways underwater from that central area. But we will be checking that in the next episode. One moment, I have to do a very quick sanitary stop. Alright, so we will be tackling that part over there. I really, really hope that we didn't miss anything because have, and probably we did. I mean, it's so easy to hide some harpoons somewhere that they are barely visible. Um, so it could very well be that we have to replay it again, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, but it is what it is. We have at least all the secrets. Crystals, we are at seven. Is that good? Weren't there like... Wasn't there a crystal over here as well somewhere? We are at seven. One from the secret room. Wasn't there like... An obvious crystal in this room as well that I now missed. I don't remember. Pickups 49, that's a lot better than what we had before. Kills 12, I think there are 17 or so in the game. But now crystals here. So let's see if we have a safe. Yeah, probably not. This is in that annoying room. Yeah, I don't have any free saves back there. Uh. Oh wait, these are earlier saves. I 
this is where we just started, I'm pretty sure. We want a save where we just finished this level, and you see... I don't really have that. Ah, this could be it, yes. So let's see how many crystals we have over here. Six, yeah, that makes sense. Because we now have seven, the one from the secret room. So I assume we're pretty good on crystals. Uh, and in the next episode, we are going to continue from 860. Let's get some health, why not? And let's make it like so. And we are at seven crystals, all the secrets, at least that is nice. Um, one secret, yeah. Of course, I did go in, and my eyes f fell on it while looking for whether they're about the branching paths in the playthrough. And then I saw like, okay, there is a crystal or a secret that you can only get when not raising the alarm. I don't really mind having some help there because that's so obscure. Uh, but at least we now found all the secrets, crystals, pickups, only 10 left. So yeah, it would be really nice if we have everything. I really am not looking forward to having to replay this area because there are just so many um, items to pick up and if you reload an earlier save then you have to re-pick up everything and even if you then find the item that you were missing you still have the chance that you will miss items that you already picked up earlier because you just need to be just as thorough as the first time extra th more thorough because you're looking for that missing item plus all the items that you already picked up before if you load up an early save I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not sure we can maybe backtrack to everything. So then at least, at least before that point of no return, uh, then at least you don't need to pick up all the items that you already picked up before as when you would have to, when you just need to load an earlier save because you need to get to before a point of no return. Like when there's a current that, you, that sweeps you in one direction and you cannot go back or a gate that closes. If you then need to get before that, the only way is to load up an earlier save. And that means all the items that you did pick up uh, will not be yet in that save. So you have to re-pick those up. But at least after the point of no return so far, uh, maybe we can at least, uh, and we end the level, we find we're missing one or two items. Hopefully we can just backtrack instead of having to reload an earlier save uh, to look for a missed item. Uh, because then yeah, the nice thing is indeed you don't have to re-pick up all the items that you already picked up if you can at least just backtrack by, by um, going back in the level itself uh, within the same save that uh, your, your last save so to say um, but yeah we will have to wait and see continuing in the next episode sorry for my rambling and uh, just thinking out loud my thoughts and sometimes getting into tangents and spending way too much time on minuscule uh, things uh, but yeah that's me um, i hope you still enjoyed somewhat i hope to see you in the next one and for the meantime do not forget always do keep on gaming Slater.